We're a complicated landscape. The manager of the Ecological Corridor Pilot Program says that because this area of the country, from Halton to Hamilton, is one of the most urbanized, but also one of the most biodiverse in Canada. Many natural areas are protected by Conservation Halton, the Royal Botanical Gardens, and the Hamilton Conservation Authority. And it's important to ensure they're also connected. In order for a protected area to be effective, it needs to be connected with other natural areas. So that's where an ecological corridor steps in. It's providing those almost stepping stones between protected areas to make sure they're effective and ecologically productive. One of the corridors getting some attention is between Hidden Valley Park in Burlington and Grindstone Creek, as conservation staff find issues with erosion and buffers between natural areas and adjacent land use. Meanwhile, Halton Region has its own project underway. The project will include um, the northern portion of the Burlington landfill site and it's a restoration project and it will be the development and implementation of a forest management plan and also invasive species removal. A lot of what we're seeing is things like European buckthorn or just common garden plants that are considered invasive like goutweed, uh, periwinkle, garlic mustard is always an issue as well. In addition to the work being done by all nine partners in the ecological corridor, there's another important factor landowners. They're critical. Uh, private landowners are essential in terms of making an ecological corridor a success. Our partner agencies, conservation authorities, RBG, McMaster University, etc., you know, their protected lands are only effective if neighboring landowners are also considering the environment and protecting the swaths of property that they have. There's additional value in the protection of these areas for recreational opportunities through organizations like the Bruce Trail Conservancy. We've been adding about a thousand acres per land to the Bruce Trail Conservation Corridor every year and we're looking to do that again this next year and so uh, excited about what could come. At this open house which offered an update on the program, everyone heard that Parks Canada is funding the project, spending about $100,000 a year. But the manager of the pilot indicates that the return on investment has been about $10 million. However, monetary value is not the only measurement of its worth. It's an experience, you know. If you're out there, you fall in love with the area and you want to protect what you fall in love with. So I think that is really at the core what we're trying to do. We believe that when people are protected or connected to um, natural places, that there's better conservation outcomes. And that connection to nature is so important for this project. There's more information about this project at cootstoescarpinpark.ca slash creatingcorridors. Jason Trout for Halton News in Burlington.